I will say when I first started researching with Ovi, the only thing I wanted to know is how much weight did this person lose and how fast did it take them to lose it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as the title says, how effective is Wagovi for weight loss? It's very effective. Now I will say when I first started researching with Ovi, the only thing I wanted to know is how much weight did this person lose and how fast did it take them to lose it? Give me that information and I may consider getting it, right? <laughs> so if you're thinking the same thing that I was, probably why you're watching this video. So I've lost upwards of 50 pounds so far. Now I will say I started with Ovi in November of 2021. I stopped taking with Ovi in April of 2022. And since then, <clears throat> if you look at some of my other videos about an exit strategy um, and what to do once you get off of Wagovi, yeah, since then I've been continuously losing the same amount of weight that I was losing once I was on Wagovi. So I'm losing approximately one pound a week. So that kind of gives you a time frame of how much I lost and how much I lost again. Now, obviously, everyone's going to be different the way that my body is set up. And because of the lifestyle that I have, I'm losing about one pound a week. Now, doing that, um, I don't feel like deprived or like I'm missing out on anything. So, like my calorie, and you guys know that I really preach my fitness pal. So, my calories allow me to still lose one pound a week. Now, if I wanted to lose more weight per week, then I'll obviously reduce my calories. So, I don't really care what you're eating. If more calories in than out, well, more calories. <laughs> basically you need to be in a calorie deficit in order to see the weight loss or so whatever deficit that they may that may be that's going to determine usually will determine how much weight you're going to lose now in my case i am in perimenopause so you know my body is just not really wanting to let go of the weight as fast as i used to would like but me and my body we have come to an understanding and we're just gonna just kind of slow walk this thing because again it is a lifestyle now if you're younger maybe in your 30s oh my god 30s <laughs> but yeah if you are like in your early 30s late 20s and you're doing this then you know you wouldn't have generally have some of the issues that i was having with perimenopause now you may have um um, some other issues that may impact your ability to lose the weight and that's understandable but in any case you have to get started and you have to start somewhere so oh my gosh comparison is the thief of joy and if you're looking at me or you're looking at someone else and you're seeing how fast that weight loss is coming off i know it can be very frustrating it also can be very inspiring. It really depends on your perspective. And when I say it depends on your perspective, think about it. If you just all of a sudden dropped all this weight super fast and you've not developed any strategies, uh, any healthy eating habits, you haven't started like getting into a routine of exercising or um, working on your relationship with food, like all of that, it really won't help if you lose the weight fast. I mean, I know it sounds counterproductive, but it, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not being paid to say this or anything, but really it's like slow and steady wins the race. Now, the reason why I'm not on Wagovi anymore because my insurance just wouldn't cover it. And as I stated in my last video, would I still continue with Wagovi if my insurance was covering, covering it? And the answer is yes. And you guys know, and this is one of the reasons why yes because i still have hot flashes and my hot flashes stopped like once i stopped taking with ov so that's like a main my main issue for wanting to take it but yeah um it's it's just yeah that's what that is so um i just kind of wanted to come in and kind of give you guys some encouragement on that um plus i'm very visual too so um that's one of the main things. I'm very visual, so when I'm looking at other people's videos, like I like to see kind of where you started, where you are, you know, how do you look like, what are your stats and things like that. So um, then also everybody has that turning point. So it's like, is there a picture or is there a time frame where you looked at yourself and you saw a picture and you were like, you know, this is it, like this is it. I've got to do something different. Something has to change. It is it like you made up your mind. Like I've got like one or two pictures and I'll I'll pop them in somewhere around here and just kind of let you know like this is what made me finally say, okay, enough 
is enough. You know, kind of have that self-talk, that inner monologue. Like, how did you let yourself get like this? What happened? And, you know, you're kind of talking to yourself and you're beating up yourself. You're like, we really can't do that. It's more like, let's give ourselves a pep talk. It's like, come on, we got here. Remember, how we talk to ourselves is just as important as how other people talk to us, right? So we have to encourage ourselves. Like, okay, this is where we are, Sita. You know, what are we going to do about it? Let's research. Let's see, like, what can we do? You know, we don't want to get in a panic and just start doing, like, crazy diets or anything like that. But we really do need to find something. And so that's how I came across Wagovi. It was like, hmm, would this work for me? Kind of reached out to my doctor. And he was like, yeah. So I didn't immediately start on Wagovi. I started with the nutritionist first. I started taking, you know, learning how to cook and make healthy meals and make healthy decisions but I like initially wanted to run into the doctor and say hey give it here mm, jab it in and start losing the weight like that's what I really wanted to do I mean I know you just want a quick fix because in this microwave society that we have that's literally what we want and the whole all things come to those who wait it really is because you're giving your body time to adjust to this new lifestyle of eating. So remember when I said, hey, what the things that I wish I knew before starting with Gobi? Yeah, learning how to eat, learning how to recognize my cues, my hunger cues or triggers, you know? So like for me, one of the things is like, if I'm getting really stressed, I'm getting down, I tend to want to shop and I have to be self-aware of that or I get a taste for like salt or sweets or something like that. So I have to really like, okay, I know what's happening here. Again, it comes with that self talk. Am I like, I'm literally sweltering. Here I'm going to pause because this is bull. Like, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going because I'm just going to keep going. So yeah, um, that is what made me finally say, you know what? I have to do something about it. You know, I can't continue to uh, blame my past or blame other things for why I'm making the decisions that I'm doing. So um, it really is about becoming uh, mindful and responsible and reflective and self-aware and things like that. But yeah, how effective is Wagobi for weight loss? It is extremely helpful, but it's helpful in partnership. And I know I'm going to sound like, oh, it really is helpful in partnership with a healthy diet, healthier diet, healthier, because I'm not sitting around eating diet food every day. Like, I'm just not, it, no, no, I'm being honest, and I'm, I'm just not. But it really is in partnership with a healthier lifestyle and moving your body. Clean your house, clean your tub, clean your car, walk around, go back and forth, go check your mail, take the trash, like just move your body. I mean, just walk in place, you know, stand up things at work, walk in place. And I know like if you're, especially if you're starting with Gobi, the fatigue is a beast, um, but you have to work up to that. It won't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight for me. But yeah, if you can, once you push through, you know, that fatigue, then yeah, move your body. But yeah, it's only effective if you do these other things. Because there are people that have gained weight on Wagobi. Unfortunately, it's because some of the things that needed to be done, they weren't able to do. So hopefully, um, those that didn't have great success, if you're still able to be covered with Wagobi, then yeah, I would absolutely, absolutely suggest, you know, going back through some of my earlier videos. Not only will you learn something, but it does help my YouTube channel. <laughs> on the plug but yeah not only will you learn something but you'll be able to kind of give yourself some extra tools and really you know i always say youtube versity because you can learn anything heart surgery how to lose weight i mean how to look a cow i don't know but it's just so many things that you can figure out and learn on youtube but yeah that is why i am here uh, i'm doing the same thing that you're doing if i don't know something i'm gonna go to youtube i'm gonna go to google to figure out how to do it but yeah um i just wanted to kind of come in and let you know yes it's effective i got some other videos coming up um in terms of what's the difference between this um supplement and that supplement um how to qualify for what will be um how to get your prescriptions for it so things like that but i didn't want the videos to be too long so i just wanted to break it down so i did a section so yeah as always thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye